North Carolina has a law for schools to keep a supply of emergency epinephrine auto-injectors on school property. This is so a trained team of personnel can provide emergency medical aid to a person suffering from an anaphylactic reaction during school days and school-sponsored events on school property. This law does not cover field trips or transportation to and from school. Parents are responsible for providing prescribed medication for their child's use on field trips and during the school day. Anaphylaxis is a sudden allergic reaction. The most common identifiable causes of anaphylaxis are insect stings, foods, medication, and latex gloves. It is important to know that frequently no specific cause of anaphylaxis is found. Drugs and insect stings are the most common cause of anaphylaxis in adults, while food allergies are the most common cause in children. Severe reactions can occur in someone with no history of previous allergies. Anaphylaxis is often life-threatening and almost always unexpected. It can start within minutes of exposure to the allergy-causing trigger, or the reaction may be delayed by several hours. Once someone is having an allergic reaction, the most important factor in whether they live or die is how quickly they receive an injection of epinephrine. Because an injection must be given promptly at the first signs of anaphylaxis, the decision to treat must be based on recognition of the symptoms of a severe allergic reaction. Severe symptoms to look out for include lungs, shortness of breath, wheezing, repetitive cough, heart, pale blue skin, faint, weak pulse, dizziness, throat, tightness, hoarseness, trouble breathing, trouble swallowing, mouth, significant swelling of the tongue and or lips, skin, many hives over body, widespread redness, gut, repetitive vomiting, severe diarrhea, other symptoms, feeling something bad is about to happen, anxiety and confusion, or any combination of the symptoms from different body areas. If you notice someone having a severe reaction, immediately call the front office and 911. State the problem and location of the victim. The front office will notify the school's epinephrine response team who will immediately report to the location and give care. Do not move the person who is exhibiting symptoms of a serious reaction to a different location. Bring equipment and rescue personnel to him or her. The only exception is if the location poses a safety threat. Have the victim sit or lie down. If lightheaded or dizzy, encourage the student to lie on their back with their legs slightly elevated. However, if the victim is having difficulty breathing, allow them to remain in the preferred position of comfort. Do not attempt to force the person to lie down. If other students are in the room, move them to another location such as a nearby classroom or the media center. Because time is the most important aspect, the school should always be ready to respond and treat the affected person immediately. It is safer to give the epinephrine at the first sign of reaction than to delay treatment of anaphylaxis. The sooner the treatment, the greater the person's chance of survival. Each school will have a supply of EpiPen auto-injectors. Only trained individuals may administer epinephrine injection. Everyone on the response team has been trained. This video is for education only. If you are interested in EpiPen training, contact your school nurse. Epinephrine is a powerful drug used for the treatment of anaphylactic reactions. It is obtained by prescription only. In the case of a life-threatening allergic reaction, it is the most immediate and effective treatment available. Epinephrine acts on the body by constricting blood vessels and raising the blood pressure relaxing the bronchial muscles, and reducing tissue swelling. I will now show you how to use an EpiPen. Warning, don't practice with a real injector. EpiPens come in a plastic carrying case. This one has already been removed from it and is a training model only. Pull off the blue tip. Next, grasp the EpiPen firmly. Place the orange tip on the upper outer thigh and press until you hear a click. Hold the EpiPen for 10 seconds while it automatically injects the epinephrine. After 10 seconds, remove the pen 
and massage the area for another 10 seconds. With proper training, children as young as 3 to 5 years old can even learn how to use an auto-injector.